Now your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Kevin Doom. Let's start you off with a look over downtown Rockford using a Merciel Skytrack. We're seeing some clear skies right now, pretty quiet conditions, but temperatures are really cold, but not nearly as cold as they were early on this morning. Rockford reached a low of one below zero. That's the first time so far this winter that the thermometer actually dropped below zero. We've had wind chills below zero, but not actual temperatures uh, on, uh, or I should say below zero. Now Rochelle reached a low of nine degrees below zero. That's the coldest temperature recorded in Rochelle in two years. In fact, nearly two years to the date back on January 26th of 2019. A Rochelle dropped to a low of 22 below zero. So it was awfully cold out there this morning. Let's just be thankful it wasn't quite that cold. Now temperatures today were in the upper teens and lower 20s, but now we're back down to the teens, even dipping into the single digits across much of the area. Here in Rockford, we're at 12 degrees, five currently in Rochelle, and nine degrees over in Freeport. Most of the area not really seeing much of a wind chill factor, but a few spots are seeing a little bit of a breeze, which is making it feel just a little bit colder out there. We saw lots of sunshine today, so a little bit more cloud cover move in for the afternoon, obstructing some of that sunshine. Sunshine, but now we're seeing more clear skies across most of the state line. A few more clouds are going to be moving in overnight, to, uh, overnight though, and that will lead to some partly cloudy conditions, which will then last likely through the day tomorrow and into Saturday as well, with no rain or snow expected between now and Saturday morning. But by the time Saturday afternoon rolls around, we're expecting our, another, uh, our next, I should say, winter storm system to be moving in. So this will arrive in the state line in the uh, mid to late afternoon is when we expect to see our first first uh, signs of snowfall moving in from the south and southwest that'll move that'll push northward and northeastward and then we will see some widespread snowfall across the state line pretty much through the night the heaviest of uh, the snowfall is expected to fall in the latter part of the evening but widespread snow will persist through the night and into the early part of Sunday morning before the snow uh, finally starts to break up uh, through the latter part of the morning but scattered flurries are definitely possible in fact expected to last through much of Sunday afternoon so models are in very good agreement about the track of the storm right now as opposed to the storm that occurred earlier on this week. The disagreement uh, lies with how heavy the heaviest uh, snow will fall, um, the intensity of that snowfall, and then there is just a little bit of uncertainty on where that heaviest snowfall will come down. But overall, you can see the three primary models that we're looking at are agreeing on significant snowfall north of five inches, as much as a little bit under eight inches. So uh, don't take these totals to heart just yet, but just know that all models are agreeing on a significant snow event for the weekend. That's uh, the gist of what we're looking at there. Now tonight, uh, things are going to cool off quite a bit once again, but not going to be quite as cold as where they were early this morning, dropping down to the lower single digits. We'll probably see a few more negative values in a few spots early on tomorrow morning. Temperatures tomorrow a little bit warmer, middle to upper 20s. We are in the 30s through the weekend with that storm system coming on through. We're dry for a couple of days thereafter, looking ahead to the latter half of the next work week. Another storm system moving on in is expected to bring some more snow and the potential for a good bit of rain as well.